I got the idea for this experiment. What if you took four non-actors, trained them to hunt ghosts, and then locked them into a haunted house for 24 hours? To get proof would be awesome. I would kind of uh, prove my own ghost stories in a way, you know. So, um, and whether or not we can get the ghosts to move on and, or whatever it is to leave the house alone, um, I guess that's great. I mean, for the people who live there. Um, personally, if I lived in a haunted house, I wouldn't want the ghosts to leave. I mean, it's kind of nice to have them. How do I feel about going into the house? Well, I feel like really nervous. You know, I mean, I feel really anxious. My stomach's been kind of like on edge this morning, but um, I feel like excited because I'm excited because it's totally new and it's gonna be like this real challenge for me because I get really scared. I'm not exactly too sure whether ghosts exist or not. I think it even gets a little bit more deeper than that because if there are ghosts, then that means that there's gotta be something else outside this life that's something that i'd like to believe in so i hope that going in there i will see something that will confirm any beliefs that i've had as a child or right now about what happens after death i think that my curiosity will probably outweigh the fear at least i'm hoping <laughs> um and uh i think that one of my main goals that I personally set for myself was that I wanted to face my fears now. Well, I thought maybe what we we'll start out with the basic stuff. Motion detectors for you guys to use. We'll have them ready for you before you go into the house. Um, what the, the idea behind them is back when all this first started, back in the 20s and 30s when people really started to do investigations and stuff, they used to keep jars of flour with them all the time. And the, the flour would be sprinkled on the floor, and then if anybody passed through the area, whether it be ghost or otherwise, would leave footprints behind. This is probably the simplest meter to use. It's a digital meter, all you have to do is turn it on, you get a, a readout on it so that it tells you exactly what it is you're looking for. And the only problem with a meter like this is that it does not tune out natural or artificial sources of electromagnetic energy. This is a standard tri-field meter. Um, with this one, it doesn't do a combination of electrical and magnetic. It only does magnetic. Now, these phaser-like devices, actually, um, this is a infrared non-contact thermometer. Actually, we call them thermal scanners just because it's an easy thing to remember. What this does is you push this button, you fire it just like you would a gun, and it takes instantaneous temperature readings from the air. The theory is that the ghosts, when they're disrupting the electromagnetic field as they do, because that's what they're comprised of, to be able to manifest, they need energy. To be able to get energy, they've got to pull it from the, la the atmosphere around them. When they do, it makes the temperature drop. Um, that's why when you hear, when you read anything about ghosts, you always hear about cold spots. Uh, that's the scientific explanation of a cold spot. Thank you. Um, if you know very much about St. Francis going on, it is kind of a cluster of, it's a historic cluster of haunted houses, I'll be honest with you. Um, almost every plantation around here has a ghost story of one sort or another, a lot of them. Uh, but you've got a lot of violence, you've got history, you've got the Civil War, slavery, all combined. And something about this area seems to attract that kind of thing. Uh, the house was chosen mostly for the reason that it may be connected to these murders in some way. Uh, that's about all the background I want to give you on it. I don't want to give you particulars. I don't want to tell you about any kind of ghost sightings that have taken place. Or we'd rather you guys go with Cole with but this thing and you know, investigate on your own. Sarah, tell me about Madame LaRoy. Well, Madame was the creme de la creme of New Orleans aristocracy. She lived on Royal Street, the most modern house in all of New Orleans, first one with gas lighting, with her third husband, Dr. LaRoy, and her two daughters from previous marriages. Well, one night, Madame was having a Mardi Gras ball, 
and uh, she once again excused herself from the room, left. People heard muffled sounds and things like that. Madam came back and was very excited. Shortly thereafter, a fire broke out in the kitchen. Well, as it turns out, when the fire department arrived, there was an aged slave in the kitchen, and she had deliberately set fire to the house rather than continuing to live in the conditions that she was living in. She was chained to the wall, no more than two foot of chain. For over a year, she had been chained there. She couldn't leave the kitchen. All she did was cook, 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 and sleep on the kitchen floor. So she deliberately set fire to the kitchen, hoping to escape. When the fire department saw this, it piqued their interest about Madam. It always heard the rumors, but they never really knew if it was true. So with the excuse of looking for burning embers, they searched the house room by room. This was a 40-room mansion. It was tremendous, three floors. It was half of a square block. It's a beautiful house. So they searched room by room, painstakingly looking under every piece of furniture and every closet, looking for anything that would validate the rumors about Madam. They finally got into the attic, and there was a room that they couldn't seem to open. It seemed to be locked from the inside. So they called more people in, and they forced the door open. When the door opened, they were immediately sent back by what they thought was the stench of death. But on further examination, it seemed that everyone was alive in the room. The first person they saw was a small 12-year-old boy whose half of his face had been peeled away, his skin removed, and his muscle tissue and his veins and his bones were exposed. And the wound had since been infested with disease and insects. And he was kept alive. He was force-fed. And he was taken care of well enough so that he stayed alive. Another woman, they believe his mother, was forced into a cage no bigger than that the size of a medium dog so that all of her joints were broken when she was forced into the cage. When they took her out, her joints had reset at obscene angles so she looked more like a crab than a human. There was a gentleman tied down to a table. It appeared that Madame attempted to perform a castration on him. Not a simple castration, though. It looked more like an early attempt at a sex change operation. All about the room, there were blood-encrusted knives and devices that looked like medical equipment. There were red-stained drinking cups and saucers. There were bottles filled with red substances. And later on, people examined, and they did believe that it was blood. Well, at the time that the firemen were searching the house, Madam knew I'm busted. They're going to find me out. So she was collecting some of her things into a, a coach below. She had her coachman, Arstesis, assisting her. There was an angry mob gathering on the street below. Arstesis drove the coach through the gate doors, through the angry crowd of people, and fled away. And since then, nobody has had any actual proof of where Madame is. Many people have their theories, though. Some people believe that Madame may have fled to St. Francisville. So, Priestess Jones, we're here in St. Francisville at, at a plantation that we feel the Lalaurees might have come to when they fled the French Quarter. We're sending in four young people into this house to investigate the possibilities that the Lalaurees did come here. What kind of things do you think they would ex uh, should expect, or what kind of um, activity do you think they might find? Just maybe a heaviness. They, people may sense that they're there. They, there's something in the room, but they just don't know what. How dangerous could this be? I mean, how much is there to fear from? from spirits. The thing that one must be cautious of is that these um, energies will attach themselves to the people, mm. you know, who may be leaving, but it's a simple thing of just doing a cleansing, a prayer of protection. So wait a minute, you're saying that they might bring out, they might bring out spirits with them mm -hmm. and take them with them? I can't wait. I've been waiting to get in there. I cannot wait to get in there and check this place out. I mean, just the house alone, I, whether or not it was haunted, I'd love to go in and check it all out, explore all those rooms and stuff. But um, I mean, it's almost a dream come true to get to be, you know, on the Scoob, Scooby Doo team <laughs> and check out a house for an entire night. You know, three of the people I don't really know, but they're all cool. And uh, I hope they can hold up. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's going to be um, a negative spirit or not, you know? And um, I mean, I hope maybe we can help them. I mean, they're in this place, they can't get to this, this next level, they're stuck, they're kind of stuck, and I hope that we can, you know, help them. Um, maybe they have unfinished business, and maybe we can help them finish that business. I wanna, I just wanna feel something, or know that they're there, 
just know inside of me that these things exist and I want to communicate with them and I want to help them to get wherever they need to go. I've spent a lot of time meditating in the last week. I've meditated more than I ever have. And um, I'm coming at this thing hopefully with a real grounded, solid approach of being here in this dimension, which is basically what we're going to be meeting with. We're meeting with another dimension. And uh, whenever you meet with the unknown, it's, it's scary. My great great grandma was a slave on this hemp plantation when she was a young thing, back in 1834. The master of the house took in this Creole family, Dr. Louis Lalari and his wife Delphine. Folks that tortured and killed them slaves down in New Orleans. The old master let Madam run the household. She and the doctor mistreated them slaves something fierce. They didn't give a damn about the plantation. All they cared about was what was going on up in that attic. Madam and the doctor had some crazy notion that they was medical geniuses, doing some kind of crazy research up in that attic. Madam liked to cut folks with a knife. And the doctor, he liked to stitch them back together in ways that God didn't intend for human flesh to go. They was a match made in hell. So many tears and so much blood was spilled in that house. Even the sweet magnolias couldn't last the stench of death. Come spring, Madam took a fancy to this slave from the next plantation. He had a wife and two young children. Loved them more than he loved himself. He refused Madam's proposition, shamed her something fierce. She kidnapped his wife and kids and took them to the plantation house. When he came looking for them, she chained them up in the attic too. She and the doctor tortured his loved one, forced him to watch. Day after day, all of them weeping and carrying on like to break your heart. Drove that poor man insane. But madam, she was just getting warmed up. She had her way with him for days and days. Must have seemed like years to him. By the time she was through with that handsome man, she left it after. He was a pitiful, wimpy thing. Wasn't hardly human anymore. They buried the bodies in that sycamore grove out right there. The sun went down. Madam and the doctor started packing. Before they could make their getaway, something strange happened. Something came back from the dead that night. Chased them up the staircase and out into the valley. The old master found them the next morning down by the rose bushes. Head cracked open like a couple of watermelons. I wouldn't want to go looking too hard for trouble if I was you. If them ghosts are seeking revenge for what was done to them, I wouldn't want to be one standing there when they decide to show themselves. Ghosts can't really hurt you though, right? I reckon you're fixing to find out. You a damn fool if you go mess around up there. I think I need to, I think I need to tell everybody something. When we get in there, we need to talk to that house. I don't know if anything's in that house, but we need to tell it why we're here, what we're planning on doing, and asking for its permission. It's for protection. Hey guys, hold up, I gotta get my stuff. Madison's creeping me out, dude. She's not gonna hold up. That's the thing. She's totally not gonna hold up. 
I'm gonna smack her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. She's all spooking herself out. Yeah. A couple of things before we go in here. Um, you guys are in here for the night. Um, you guys can come out when the dawn breaks on the horizon. All right. You'll be able to know. It'll be around 5:30, 6 o'clock. You'll know. You'll see a little light in the house. This contains uh, your immediate instructions, which you'll find open, all right? And it'll tell you what to do. Just follow the instructions, and it's, you know, it's, it's pretty easy what it tells you to, you know, what it tells you to do. Um, just open each envelope, explain, you know, explain it to everybody, and go ahead and do it. And so I guess we shouldn't even go out on the balcony? No, you can't go out on the balcony. That is off limits. Right. Are we Inside going to be house. able to separate? Or are we going to have to separate? No. At this point, we don't have you guys separate. Can we open windows? Anything like that? Can't open windows, no. Good. The windows are all shut, right? Yeah, the windows are all... The place is all... Good temperature all, reading. You know, barricaded up there. Um, you can get out through the front door. All right? Okay. Uh, you are free to explore the, you know, entire place. Okay? Okay. So, let me hand this to somebody. Um, uh, the ghost hunter. Uh, I'm going to hand it to you. Hardly a pants. <laughs> all right. How stuffy is that place? Is there any? Is there a lot of ventilation? I guess we'll find out. Okay. <laughs> I'd wear a tank top if I get hot. You guys all set? <laughs> all right. <laughs> there you go. Who has the other camera? I I'm have gonna one. Give it to you Pop right now. Bye, guys. Um, Brad, I cannot believe we're doing this. this is so insane. Did anybody ever hear about how old this place is? Well, then let's not forget the food. Oh, is this our food? How nice of them. Well, you know what? Let's Why don't one of us walk in? We'll hand it in. Let's right. cook No. Well, we can't, I can't come we out. To bring it in now. We need to. We need to go in and we need to talk first. We need to drink this food and we can't, can't come out. Okay. So we, we got to drop off our now. stuff. I'll go in. You can hand me your stuff. No, it's not that. We just need to make peace with the house. Well, I understand. Well, we got to get all our stuff in too. So. Um, you know what? I'm not a psychic, but I'm feeling kind of scared suddenly. <laughs> it's okay. got the creepiest we, feeling. Well, so. we need to we need to sit down. We need to talk. Um, I would like to say that myself, Madison, Ryan, Paul, and Tim, we're all in this house, and we would like to surround this house with white light. We would like to surround ourselves with white light for protection, white light, the protection of the universe and God. And we'd like it to envelop all of this house, every room, and the roof of the house as well. We ask permission to be in this house, and if there is something in this house with us, we come in peace and we come to help. We may not be able to understand everything, but we want to try. And we hope that you'll accept us because we would like to meet with you and dialogue. Okay. Amen. Okay. Communication. Hugely important. Got it. Whatever you're feeling, thinking, keep it all four of us. There shouldn't be things between two or three people. Everybody, nobody should be left out. That's for, just for safety reasons. I mean, just for, it'll keep people from breaking toes and falling down staircases and as long as we all know where each other's at and, you know, communicating. I mean, to an extent. I promise so. to communicate everything. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, me too. Furthermore, um, do you promise to communicate I everything? I promise to communicate every single thought that I have in my Say it. No, I was just thinking I feel like I need to say a prayer. Well, we just had one. I need to say my own. Say one. Okay, go ahead for yourself. But I, I don't want to turn into a big prayer meeting all night. Maybe you should do that loud. No, I don't. No, she needs her own. Okay. 
How do you guys feel? I feel more afraid of my own fears than anything else. Really? Yeah. I was fine until we walked in. I stood right over there and I started rumbling. And I'm not like into being all scared or anything. I want evidence. But how weird is it when you walk into a place and suddenly get terrified? I'm not scared of the house. It's just I got this scared feeling. I'm like, I'm not sure even of what. Well, maybe it's hot in here. Yeah, I'm spoiling. It's everywhere. It's um, yes. I guess we should. Oh, I know what it was I wanted to say. Oh. That was so important. What? Um, let's clear this up and then we got stuff to do. The thing we need to do is make a home base. We need to decide where that is. Yeah. So I imagine we should probably at least look at the first floor. The, stand, the kitchen, obviously, is not I the place to have I think this is a it. really good home base. This, this middle is, section? I think this is a sacred space. Can we check that parlor and maybe over here, too, just in case? No, let's just keep home base in here. I need yeah. to find an outlet. Well, that's the thing, too. We have to test the outlets. There's an outlet on the floor over there. I feel really good about this space because I, when I first walked in, I looked around everywhere, and I felt like this is the spot that I really wanted to say everything to the house. Okay. And this is the area that has... So let's set up our home base and um, okay. find out what our missions are because uh, it's the most important. It. You know, first things first, huh? so it's not just recording air. Okay, hi, I'm here. The light just worked, but gotcha. I know it's not going to stay on. Gotcha. We don't know what to expect. I just gave a blessing for the house. Actually, it was for me. You see, I'm, um, I don't like being closed in. All right. You're but I really didn't want to talk Madison. about that. Madison, I don't think you should even say what you don't like. And also, talk I mean, to don't you even about say it. what your fears are. Think about this. Don't even put You're closed in an enormous area. Instructions, getting settled. Locate the living room and set up base camp. Well, we chose the Fuck it. entrance hall. Forget about it. Designated team leader. Okay. Wait, which one's the living room? That one? Yeah, but we decided this. Rochambeau. That's fine, but we, we need to... Know yeah, the we're gonna, I'm going to make a map. There are other things. We'll there. make a floor plan okay. and decide what rooms are okay. what. Okay. All right. Um, Designated leader. A okay. leader. Yeah, I agree. Tim? I, I ain't arguing. Well, you're behind camera. You seem to have control. Assign positions and equipment to others. We'll get that done. I'm cameras. Camera. Okay. Um, Madison, yes. you're probably not going to use a camera all that much. We need you to go through and feel the house. I'll go ahead of it, you guys. I'm okay with that. Great. However, and don't take it like super personal or anything. Just remember, once you tell us something, we get it. And uh, as emotional as you may feel or, or want to get, for our sake, just kind of, you know, let us know what's going on. I don't think we should tell each other what to do or what to feel. We're going to feel... We're I'm not telling her what she can feel whatever she express wants. express whatever we feel. Well, the only problem is, is when we first walked in here, all, all four of us did that, and it was chaos. So, okay, for each I other, you know what I mean? If I have the claustrophobia thing, I won't spread it around. Or, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. No, express what you feel. No, tell us what you feel. But if it's a phobia, it's a phobia. If it's real, if it has to... I'd already forgotten about that. That's I will be a lot about. more scientific. That's what you guys need. Well, that's not what I was saying. I wasn't even talking yeah. about this before we had forgotten about it. It's just that we should be clear when somebody else is speaking, give them the respect and let them I listen. Thought, you know, it was just it was just kind of sprung on me and I, I Okay, but there's gonna be times when we're all like a little bit freaked out. Right. I was freaked and I mean out. it's, it's awesome. not like we're gonna say, Stop talking, I need to speak. I mean just no, whatever. But that's not know? respect. So you weren't kidding when you said that I was being so quiet I was that you were getting freaked out? Exactly. Oh, okay. That well, wasn't because you weren't communicating, which is fine, you were feeling something, but I was like, oh my God, what well, you know that I don't know? Because your uh, position here right. is, you know, you have a gift we don't have. You're feeling things we don't know. So y it's up to you to tell us if a room feels a certain way to you. I mean, we may feel something too. We're gonna too. have our own intuition. We're gonna exactly. But own. her, sh she's here for that. So that's why you probably won't necessarily carry. Not that you can't carry a camera, but right. No, I got you. It's I twelve mean, hours. You I mean, I, I definitely got a little freaked out walking right. in here. I wasn't aware. I wasn't able to open a window. Yeah, assigning positions and equipment. I guess we could just volunteer what we want to do. Sure. What do you want to do, kiddo? Um, I do know there's some things that we need to do scientifically. Do you want to hear what they are? Yeah. We need to take a temperature of every room and write it down. And that one monitor is kind of whack, but we have two of them. So we okay. should use both in every room and point them in each direction and write down the basic temperature. I want to find true north in every room, which sounds kind of silly, but compasses can spin. Okay. Um, we need to find uh, what else was there. I want to make a floor plan of this house and, mm -hmm. and 
I mean, it's kind of obvious how the house is, but we need to decide what the rooms are. We may not know exactly what this room's called, so we'll come up with a general name for it okay. that we all agree on. We'll have that okay. written down. All right, I guess, guys, what would you, this, this room is strange because it's right off the living room, but it has twin beds in it. It's like a guest room, I guess, or? We can call this one the right room, we can call that one the left room, or opposite. Well, yeah, we're about to do this upstairs. Let's call it the woodpecker. The woodpecker room. The woodpecker. The woodpecker. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Woodpecker room. Got that? The woodpecker room? Do you see why? Okay. <laughs> Do you guys notice that clock is not working? Yeah. I know it's not, no. Because it says uh, three minutes to seven. Has a fireplace. How's the temperature in here? It's 73 on this wall. Are you, are you 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, and then do like slash, it'll do all four. On this all. one's 72. And the last one, what was the first one? 73. And this one's also 72.5. So 73, so it's an average of 73 degrees. If you guys were interested to know, the front of the house is north. This house faces directly north. Somebody want this tool right here? Um, the gamma. The gamma, we'll do it later. Magnetic fields, you have 10 everywhere? Yeah, 10 all the way around, which is, as uh, the ghost hunting guide says, is ghostly. Yeah, but look at this. Do you want to call this the dove room? Yeah. Just closing it. I don't know. Dove room. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a, oh, look, there's an exterior door. Yeah. There's, this might be another place for a motion detector. Right. Can we go get one? Um, let's scope let's, the house we'll first. Let's scope the house. It's a smoking room. Yeah. So you want those temperature readings? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Alright, this wall reads 74 solid. This wall, okay, this is um, average 73. Okay. You know what's weird is I feel like I'm chasing whatever it is. You might be. We might be. It's not the, it's, I don't feel it's the right yeah, time yet. Get up to 100, right? It's not cold here. Yeah. I, I felt the cold spot. You did? Yeah, yep. It was a cold spot. I don't feel anything. Same when we got there. 74. It's not cold over there. I don't feel it. Okay, okay whenever, I don't whenever somebody feels a temperature thing, whoever's holding the temperature wand, stand okay. away from it or across the room. Okay, okay. it looks hard to do too. I need to just yell out magnetic fields. Yeah, I'm still going. It's really? all about 10. Okay. Actually, this one is over 10. Well, this room's a little weird. It is a little weird. I don't like that clock. So the dark oh, room is definitely yeah. not the peace room. Okay, this must be the um, stair downstairs. Stair well, okay. Well, uh, yeah. Well, downstairs. What's the room called? Windmill. Windmill. Okay, this one's a little lower. We're at 71. Okay, it's a door, though. It's the exterior. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a 10 in here. We're at 10. It was creepy in there. That yeah, spot I felt that, that cold spot. Me. My adrenaline's been going. I've never felt a cold spot. And I wish the girls could have felt it. The oh, there you go. Weird. Cool. You see how there's no bulb up there? Yeah. Dining room, huh? How about it? Yep. We all agree this is a dining room? I felt another yeah. cold spot when I first did walked you, in you, here. You? I was going to say something. Yeah, say something, Tom. Huh? Put the lighting Yeah, right here. Whoa, 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 way up, way up at 100. 100? Yeah. I'm feeling something right here. Right, well, you Turn around, point it at me. Well, yeah, but you're He's dropping below 10. Right here, right here, right here, see? Okay, see now, right now it's at a 10. Uh -huh. Oh, it was just spiking. Come here. Uh -huh. Come here. Don't turn the light on it too much. Yeah, oh, my ass off of this Jeez, can you turn the light on and I'm coming out? No, get up here. Come on. Please. Oh, shit. Let me turn the light on. I'm not coming out. Come on. You must have come. Don't do that. You gotta come. All I can see is your flashlight. Now I can see it. You have to have the lights on. 
Someone's an avid reader over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting 73. Hey, yo! What? Get in on here! What? Somebody call my name. No. I heard somebody call my name. Get in on here! I swear, I have goosebumps. I really heard somebody whisper A man my or a woman? Name. A man in my right ear. It said Madison. I saw it open. What happened? I was in there putting a battery in this thing. I started walking in through that doorway right there. This doorway right here. Right, right <laughs> there. Yeah. What? I'm listening. I'm trying to. She's getting nervous. So okay. zip it, zip it. Shh. 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 Let them talk. I heard that. Okay. Now, fire scientific. Go ahead and let me talk. So I heard it in that door. Scientifically. We do have proof, a witness, that's pretty damn good. However, we'd like to get some readings on it. You need to write this down, what time this happened and everything. Okay. It's okay. nine, that happened at like yeah, You're scientific. God. Because I have my own camera wasn't on. What? What? Camera the camera wasn't, wasn't on. on? I was putting the battery in. That's why it happened. Do you know why ghost people get so frustrated? Yeah, ghost because people, people just scream and say whatever they want. Ghost people get I'm getting my meter. Listen, ghost people get really frustrated. Because they go into a house and nothing ever happens. It doesn't matter if this fucking house gets up and flies. If we don't get recordings, it doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Come on. Right, I know. There, this is an old you. house. I mean, old houses creak. Old houses do a lot of weird things. And all I'm saying is that every tiny little thing, we cannot like, jump and like freak out and Let's think that together. there's a ghost here. Nobody's even listening to me. Guys, it's another room. It's a kitchen. It just opened on its own. Yes. So you just watched it. Good. Good. That means they're here. All the hair is standing on my that body. That means that they're here. I'm they're here. I left it upstairs. I feel something by my right arm. I feel something by my fingers. And, it's, and I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay, but the neat part is that we're here to do scientific research, so let's go upstairs and get the damn meter so we can just find out what it is touching sure. your hand. Why don't you go ahead and go Listen, upstairs? I'm not going along. Come on. All right, I'm I'll coming. I'm not going along. Can you just appreciate for one second that it's here to communicate? I appreciate you. Absolutely. All I'm, you guys, all I'm saying is that every every little tiny thing in the house, you cannot jump to a conclusion. Oh my God, there's a fucking <laughs> ghost here. That's so funny. There is no open window in this whole place. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell, but it's true. There's no open window. And I got a question. <laughs> a really neat one. It's cold right here. Let me smell it. Let me smell it, you guys. <laughs> now I can smell me. It does, you guys. It totally does. It's an old man. I know, isn't it's it? The same one that said that... Madison's name. No, it wasn't an old no, man that said my name. That's the old, it was... It's the smell of an old guy, isn't it? Yep. No, yeah, but the guy who said it... my name sounded very young. You guys, were those curtains open? Mm. Yes. They were. I'm sorry. I, I swear to God they were. What about were. that rug? What about the rug? What? Well, I don't know. I mean, maybe. No, that wasn't like that. Uh, I need to pay more attention to detail. Like? Like rugs, so I'm not... Yeah, we all do. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I mean, we're in a haunted house. It's bound to happen. <laughs> I mean, to me, it's like, you know, the chandelier should swing, right? No. It shouldn't. It's a haunted house. I'm yeah, kind of expecting the carpets to move and the doors to open. Okay, let's go. I love all the ghosts. That's the right attitude to have. Like He's got it. And I don't. I don't love the ghost. No, you don't. You're like, this is a hard Turn a light on. How would you like it if somebody told you your house? It smells weird in here. Turn I a light on. I love it. I said that earlier. You weren't there. I felt another breeze go by me. You guys yeah, I feel it. I do too. It went by me. I should have light. There's plenty of stuff. We have oh. everything we need. Oh, yeah. Guys, I think the food is, like, also in here for us. Yeah, I was looking at that. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure it was a light at some point. Are you okay? I got a bad feeling something's gonna come out of that. A good feeling. No, I don't have a feeling that you something's must hate gonna ghosts come out of that. Guys, let's get out. I love ghosts. You wanna go upstairs?
to thirty conquerors. I feel like vulnerable with my shirt on. My stomach exposed. I feel totally vulnerable. Everybody's <laughs> watching your stomach. Gastrol. Yeah, this thing can totally get me. I haven't touched I skin totally in years. Is this you guys, actually stretchy, or is it your imagination? We still have to find a bathroom. I still need your meter reading from upstairs, in the upstairs yeah. hall. Wait, don't leave me alone back here. You don't have to be afraid. Oh, but you're not. I, I was, I pushed. Okay, you're in your dining room door open. I'm writing this down. My heart's bumping. We still gotta go into the attic. Yeah, you can finish all right, this is me upstairs. Oh, my room, we got the temperatures already. We got everything to <laughs> Yeah. Um, Staying around at 10. It's strange. That's all right, that's what we've mostly been averaging. Yeah. Except in the bedroom. She's on the wall. Girl. I need more lighting. This just isn't doing it. I wish we had more motion sensors. I hate to yeah, too. What is flashing? She gave me all of them. That camera's flashing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the ghosts. <laughs> I love. <laughs> what? No, listen, I want to show you what happened. I'm going to demonstrate it so that you know. It went like this. And it made a noise. It scuffed. And you know what? There isn't any. There isn't any. There's a mark on the floor from where it scuffed. No, it, there's not. But it scuffed. It made a scuff. It went like. <laughs> like a scuff noise, and it, it got my attention. It did it because it wanted to get my attention. I know it. Look at that door's open. Uh, it's a closet. It has to be a closet. There's so many bugs. Wait, you know, I have a feeling. I love you. I'm here on good intentions. OK, I'm scooting back. I ain't going in here. I'm a whole I know. I mean, you know what? Here. We're holding hands on bathroom duties. Okay. We're going to the bathroom together, and you guys. Can <laughs> well, I. Can you hold my hand, Paul? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely have to go. So I, don't want to go in there. I think I want to go now. Uh, okay, go ahead. We'll okay, be I'm here. Go in there with you. you guys stay out here. You need a camera. What are you no! going to talk about? No, I'm not taking. I'm not being. No, we're not taking the camera in there. We're That's not taking really the, the camera in the bathroom. No. But it's for no, science. It's not, for science. We are not taking that. It's for biology. Thing. Come on. No. Is there a light? Let's hurry. Okay. So this is. Master bedroom. All right. Uh, is this the one I'm starting at, Ryan? I don't no, know. no. This one. No. Okay. What did they say about the master bedroom? It was just as active. It was the kitchen, the attic, and the master bedroom. Guys. Yes. Yeah. Think we're headed to the attic. We have to go. Shit. I'm not going to ask. Everything is okay. Are you listening to me? Guys? We're yes, all right. Just turn the light on. We're okay. We come in peace. It's okay. I'm not. We're fine. I know we're fine. Okay. These things are all right. Big scary room. 80? I'm calling this one small attic. There's not much of a reading. 80. Room. There's a. Uh, there's road straps. That's good. Okay, do the meter readings and let's go. I'm doing them and they're fairly low. This room's another story. I don't want to be last. I don't want to be last. 
ask you guys. Okay, hey, listen. Wait, let me Goodbye. just. Listen. Can I say something? We're all protected by white light. Yeah. Okay. And. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Listen. If there's anything here, it needs us. Is that? Do you know that? Yeah. Is that? What is that noise? Like a generator? If there's anything here, it needs us. So we're here for it. Okay. All right. Right. Is there lights? What's this? Can I flip it? Should yeah, we flip, right, it? flip it? Okay. You watch that way. Yeah, I am. Get in here, Tim. Come on. Okay. We know you're here, and you know that we're here, but we're here in peace, and we're here to help. We need your cooperation. I love jokes. We need your cooperation. We ask that you don't harm us, and we're covered by white light. We're protected, and you can't harm us. We will wish to communicate what? with you. What are you saying? We will wish to communicate okay. with Okay. Why don't we go downstairs and get some sage and do all that stuff? Come on. Let's go. There's no need to be up here right okay. now. All right. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. We'll see you later. Come on. We're going downstairs. All right. Ryan, hold on. Ryan, please. We're going to sit down and we're going to talk. I think I got that on film. I was laughing because I was scared of freaking myself. You jumped you like a bitch. You missed it. I don't know. Whenever the, the cameras are on, that's what happened. It happened. The camera wasn't working. No, the working. camera. Uh, I had. What, what fell? What you fell? Listen, this. do you understand? I think it's me. I think it's me. I think when I go into a room, something happens. I don't know that. I don't know. No, you weren't in the kitchen. You weren't the in there for that. The chair. It's Wait, they don't know what happened. A chair. A chair like that. Flew across the room. What? It didn't fly that, across the room. It fucking did what? too. What? It lifted up and it tossed it. Over. No, it didn't. It broke six feet. I, I saw it. it. Yeah, it's on film. We'll see it. <sighs> I think it's going to be a long night. It's going to take a lot of us, like, really harmonizing our, our intention to really get... To, we have to really work as, a, as one mind, almost. I know it sounds crazy, but we have to work like that. And we're going to have to get together. We're going to have to really trust this process, and we're going to have to... Because four of us will be okay together. But I'm not, I'm not equipped to deal with ag that kind of anger. But we'll have to work on it. I am. Okay. All right, and I know that. I trust you. You should. So do I have to deal with this infrared thing? Can I say yeah, this right now? Point and click. Can no, I please go. say this now? Yes, it's important. It's going to help us. But we just need to get this done. We're going to go downstairs and do all the conspiracy. No, I, I want to do this now. I asked for it. It's from a sister. I asked for it and I placed the complete protection of the fiery white light over myself, Madison, Ryan, Paul, and Tim. All around me, this house, this attic, this staircase, the fiery red light, the fiery white light with the indigo. Ugh, I can't even talk. I'm so. <laughs> Everyone I come in contact with on this at this hour to ex expel, repel, and reject everything harmful negative or evil. I should have had this memorized. Yeah. Yeah. And I give thanks for this complete protection. Let's go. I'm I'll do it better later. Let's go. All right, don't be scared. I am fine. I love all the energy that's in this room. It is all positive. We are here to help White light. and do White nothing light. else. White light. Remember to use the wall on your way downstairs. White light. Everything is okay. You watch that way. Yeah, I am. Everything's perfectly okay. okay. We're here to help. Everything's all right. Do we have Are to you manage? okay? Um, oh, here's the tape recorder for you right here. We're okay. See that chair? See that chair? It was by the post. Okay. All right. Okay. No, but I just want you guys to see. All see right. Chair? Okay, let's go. Oh my God! Do you see that? 
Yeah. It's, it's, up, it's in here. What did you see? It just jumped up. What jumped? Just uh, the reading. Meter. Just the meeting. The meeting. You guys are welcome. Can, can I get in here? Because I got a camera. I don't want the store closed. Ryan, stay, right. right, stay there so the door don't close. Ryan. I'm right behind you, brother. I can't. Everything is okay. Madison, you stay there. We're all right. No. It's dangerous. It could fall through. The floor could fall through. Block it with this thing right here. Move this over. You guys. Let me stand here, Ryan. No. It might close. We'll open it. It has a door handle. I don't want to be last. Can I not be last? Do I have to be last? Ryan. Oh, gosh. Come on. Ryan, please. Okay. Pull yourself together. Okay, okay. All right, okay. Please. Okay. Nothing can hurt us, okay? We've got it. Don't yell at me. They're cooperating with us. It's actually a little reading. What is it? Uh, right now it's at a six. It's okay, fine. No, okay, no, 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 no. They're, they're huge over here. Come on. Madison, I need to. The 70, 70. No, that door could close. 73. 73. Okay, 73. 70, I'm cooperating. No, not you. I'm talking to, uh, I'm talking to the people right here. Don't be afraid, brother. The thing is, if it was a stream, it had to be so fucking strong to pull it that hard. Well, you know, love bridge distance. There's a dead bird. How badly is it? It's dead. Can we please hurry? Okay, just walk all the way there. Just walk there. Let's go. Let's just do it. Okay, go. Let's go. Let's just do it. White light. White light. It's high. It's really high. What is that? Why is that shoe sitting there? I said a paw. What is it? Paul, I don't know. Please, Paul, can we please hurry? Can we please just walk fast and just do it? Just walk fast over there and just do it. What if these floors slip? What if it falls through? Paul, we're going back and we're getting cameras. No! Come on, knock that off. Stop That's it! Bullshit. Okay. Oh, are we getting meter readings? What are we doing right now? Okay, I think we're done in it's here. Off over here we're done in Guys, come here. It's not 80 degrees cream. It's not. I feel a breeze. I feel a breeze. Okay, so it's just a breeze because it's, it's just not a breeze. as hot as it is over there. It's just a breeze. Please Dude, go over there, grab that chair, and you check it out. No strings? No. Fuck. Okay, I on. told you. Hold on. Hold on. I'm hey, don't. Positive energy. Come on. White light. Positive White energy. light. Hold the wall. Hold, Hold the wall. wall. Everyone. Come on. No, you have to stay with us. Oh, yeah, I did. You have to Just stay with on. us. Let's go. Let me sit down. All right. Um, the thing that, that scares me, and I'm being really honest right now, is the fact that I think that that ghost is really disturbed and angry. And just like an angry, disturbed person, you have to be very, very cautious with anybody that's a little mentally off. I wasn't prepared for a poltergeist angry activity. I wasn't prepared for something that could hurdle something at us. But we have to believe that we're protected. And we have to believe that we have guides and that we're alive and that nothing's really going to happen to us. Talk to me, Madison. How are you feeling? Well, actually, I feel strangely calm right now because... Seeing this Ouija board reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to play with it. We got this big screen TV type of thing, and it was this huge box. And my brother and I used to take it down to the basement, and it was big enough to like actually hang a little light with a cord through the edge of it. And we put a little tiny folding table and, a, and, a, and two folding chairs in there, and a bathroom rug. And my brother and I used to sit in there for hours and play with this Ouija board that my parents had. And I had no idea I didn't know anything about Ouija boards, but the thing used to move all over the place. And we would get a lot of information. And then when I was older, I played with them too. But it just kind of, I don't know, I get like this warm feeling, <laughs> which is good. Good. Because I'm kind of creeped out. Are you? you are? Really? Yeah. Something doesn't feel right for me. Are you okay? Yeah. 
think we'll be okay. And you usually tell me afraid of these things, I'm feeling great about it. Is it the Ouija board that's bothering you? I have no idea. I think it's just the whole seance thing. Have you ever been to a seance? No. Uh -uh. I've never been to a It's cool. Just do it. I'll deal with it. I'm a strong person. We're joined together as one. One intention and one focus. And we ask that only the good be brought in today. Only the good and only that which is of the light be brought forth so that we can help and heal and unite with justice and truth. Is there somebody here that wishes to speak with us and are you of the white light? If you are, you may go to the yes. It's getting cold in my hands. It's getting very cold in my hands. Is it cold in your hands? Yeah, it is. But I'm not worried about it. Is there someone here who really needs help? Is there someone here who wants us to help them? I don't know what it wants over there. Can you tell us oh, what wait, you is want? This a number? It might just be getting started. It gets started. Oh, yeah, that's right. It takes back. time. Please be of the light. <laughs> it is. You asked it to be. Oh, yes. Did you live in this house a very long time ago? Yes. Okay. So. All right. That is so fucking okay. cool. Oh my god, that is so cool. Okay, this is Tim. Would you agree to talk to Tim? Yeah. Okay. We'll give you a new question. What's the first letter of your name? That's the first letter of his name. Yes. C. He's gone to that before when we've asked him his name. Is your name Christian? But he goes to a bunch of consonants after that. No. Is maybe is your name Charles? What is it? I just thought of the name Charles. Charles. And he went to yes. What? He went to yes. Yeah. Are you still there? Okay, you're still there. It's cool, Ryan. It's just fun. Ryan's really, really great. She's here on the project with us. <laughs> I mean, is he? Are you the only one here? Is there anybody else with you? Is there anybody else with you? Do I know you? Do I know you? <gasps> Do we know each other? I don't understand past lives. Who said know, he knows you? I don't know they're dead. Who said he knows you? Wait, Concept. Do you know he keeps going back. He knows you. How well did we know each other? Can you tell me? Can you show me a picture? What? I don't know. I don't want him coming in the room showing us things. I just meant like on the board. God, I knew this person. I knew this person. Were you in love? Were you, we in love? Is it possible for us to clear this space? Is it possible for us to help move the spirits out of here? But do you think that they will go? Do you believe that the spirits will go if we send them away?
like not. Okay, I think it, I think Paul's right. I think it would really work well if we can somehow synchronize when we all say yeah, this. Yeah, so I think that's the whole point. I mean, if we were to go all together at the same time, the whole like these room, it's not as powerful as take, spreading out and taking the whole house at the same time. Starting stuff. Yeah. Fuck no, no, don't put it on that fucking hat. Why did you fucking fight, Charles? Now, what are we taking with us? Incense. Yes, and sage. We'll get the, we need to get both of the incense. Um, I'll get it. We'll get it. Where's the whistle? Yeah. I need a whistle. Huh? Can we be mine? You didn't bring your whistle? No, I let her borrow it. I just got it back. Where's yours? Okay, this is Paul's. Yeah, it works. Sorry. I asked for and I place the complete protection of fiery white, the fiery white light of love all around myself, this scary attic, this situation, and all who I come in contact with. Isn't it just asking to come in contact with people? Anyway, with, on this day, uh, you can cross the 18th, off contact. they don't want any contact. Contact's bad. Contact's... And all, and all on this day. Is that better? Yeah. And all on this day. Do you want to say night? No, it's day. Okay. All on this morning of the 18th. All on this day to expel, repel, reject everything harmful, negative, or evil, and bad. I give thanks for this complete protection. That's important. You have to give thanks. I, do, I just did. Okay. You have to get red, and then you will come. You ready, buddy? Wait, not yet. Oh, mine's Almost. still not. Oh, shit. Does anybody want protection oil? I got some. Where's my prayer? Chairs flying around up there. You need to go sit in that chair. Oh yeah. Harness it. Let it know who's the dominant being up there. Oh no, we're not gonna play dominant. I got your back. Thank you. You're a whole floor behind, below me. Can we just sit down in our spot right here, just for a minute, please? Guidance, guidance. As we venture through this house, we ask for cooperation and help. So now I want you to cover yourself with white light. I want you to see it starting out from your crown of your head, and I want to see it showering over all of us. We're all covered with white light, and we're all protected. Oh, no fucking way. All right, bro. Judgment day. Hey, not about that. Let's go. Carl, do you want to yell from the attic? No, I don't, don't want to yell. I don't want to yell. I think that just we get in our spots and just start. I mean, it's okay. pretty much. But I'm here, so. Yeah, but give me a feel that I'm in the attic. You, you guys, see? when you guys hear me at the attic, you're going to start, okay? You can tell I'm in the attic. Okay, we'll be able to hear him walking, okay? Okay. You can totally tell me in the attic. I mean, in the staircase. Okay. Um, guys, does anybody want to cover my back while I go up for a minute? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, that rope wasn't on the ground like that. Don't get tied up. That would be really gross. That rope wasn't on the ground? I don't think so. I didn't believe that. Have you started already? No. Good. You could like probably watch the staircase and like watch my back. You got Charles in there. Don't even worry about it. Stop it. It's all Charles. Fuck. I don't want to go up there. Fuck. Look at it. God damn it. Fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait until you look at it. Just look at it. Spots. Nah, bro, I'll walk in. No, because no, if you leave me, I'll feel weird. Something going on. I'll feel abandoned if you leave me. You sure? Yeah, it's something weird. Just. Fuck! I don't want to go in there. Fuck, it's like walking straight to the hell. Okay, 
okay, you guys go to your spots, and I'm going to be right here, and then I'm going to go in my spot last. Shit, I don't think I'm gonna Just in case you guys start and finish early, you can come save me. You know, I, I just want you to understand why I'm doing this. Why? Because I chose to be the leader, and I volunteered to get out of the way. Yeah. You might think I'm a dick, but at least I'm doing this for you. Yeah. Without fear, there'd be no heroes. Well, say your prayer now. Do you have your incense lit? And remember, you're going to help. We're meant to help. Remember the word was now. What is all this shit about? Huh? Oh my god. What? Hold on. Hey, don't leave me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Jesus Christ, don't run off like that yet. Mother, oh, Jesus. Hey, Madison. Yeah. What are you doing right about now? What am I doing? I'm watching Paul. But where are you, Tim? What, I'm just checking out my room. Paul, what do you think? I want you to help me out checking behind the doorways and shit. Yeah, but we have to go in separately. I mean, nobody's going up with me. I didn't check my doorways, pal. I offered to, you said you wanted to go by yourself. Yeah, but then you would leave me, that is really scary. Well, I don't mind anybody leaving me. Fuck, no, I don't want you two to go in the same room. Which, no. Don't do that, Tim. Oh. Oh. Alright, it's time to do this. Oh, man. Oh, I know you can do it. Fear's what makes heroes, right, boys? Down here in Louisiana. Fear is just in our. Just tell them that they can go and they don't have to stay and be very nice. What if they get mad? Then just surround yourself in white light and nothing can happen. I'm sure sunlight. Sunlight would make a big difference. I know we could do everything then, but they, 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 they're not active then. Uh, do we have to do this this way? I don't know how else to do it. Oh, God, be a good leader. Be a good leader. All you have to do is say it. Words are very powerful. Tim! I need you to, like, just be around. Do you you know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? What? You know, we have to hold these things up to our face. Guess what? You yeah, can't see a shit. goddamn thing. All right, let's go. No, 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 hold on. 30 minutes till oh, countdown. I'm stay here for a little while. No, you guys, you could not believe how dark and scary it is in there. Go ahead and shine this shit in first. Shine your light. And talk to them outside of there. Man, I've never been anywhere this scary, ever, ever, ever have I ever been so scary. This is ridiculous. I know. Have you ever gone into something like this before? No. I'm not writing shit. Fuck the book. I can't read stuff. I'm not writing shit. Write it, write it, get out. This no, is I'm writing. dropping the book. Look out. Get out of the way. I'm dropping the book. I don't want it. Goodbye, book. We don't need the book. No. We just need you to say no, that just... stuff. That's all we need. Out. See what stuff? Just say that stuff. That's all. Say. S-A-Y. Say. Let's see. You're hearing things. You're not going to see anything. You had a little bit too much whiskey. No, you, you haven't been sleeping in a while. No, Foreign place. Fuck. Would you be this scared? Or yes, we would all be this scared. I'd be scared. freaking out if I were you. It would not be this scared the actual to turn the light in. Shine the light in. Go, let's turn on the light. Just turn on the light. Just turn on the light. Turn on the light. Come on, Charles. Charles. Turn on the light. Charles. Make an agreement that, that you'll go in and you can talk. Charles, if you turn on the light, Paul's going to go in. No, Charles can't just turn on the light. He turned it off. He didn't nah. turn it off. That wasn't him. Huh? Who turned the light off? We need to go in our rooms. Charles did not turn that light off. All Charles did was whisper in my ear and make the Ouija boot before he moved. I know we're like, the only time it's going to get my calls together. I was ready to go up. You're thinking about the fears that you had as a little boy. No, no, I'm not. Don't go there. Well, like maybe you can get past them. No, I thought it was a good thing. I was thing. afraid of the dentist and I got over it. <laughs> this is different. This is a big, scary room full of flying chairs. Come on. Ghosts. Ghosts. Say your Just prayer. get to the first camera that you can see and sit down. Oh, no, I am not sitting down. 
I ask for. Okay, I'm going to it. It's cold up here. It's cold. Okay, I ask for, and I place complete. Guys, come on. You're yelling. I can't think. And I place the complete protection of the fiery white light of love. Hey, sisters, hold on. Guys, come on. Oh, guys, oh man, it's not very nice in there. It's not nice. Is it ice cold? Yes, I'm fucking freezing. Yeah, I'm listening to you. But it's not nice. I'm listening. Please don't oh, say it. All the hair is on Sandy on me. We've separated, each going into our haunted room alone to recite the prayer of cleansing. I feel more scared than I felt all night. Can you hear this? I'm going into the front room. We found that cold spot earlier. Seems colder in here now. scared myself. Okay, here we go. over with. There is something in this room with me. I can feel it in the air. If there's someone or something here, please communicate with me. Let me hear you and know that we are here to help you. Charles, you still here, buddy? You never were here, were you? You're just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, I'm getting some action in here. Charles, 
This isn't funny. Those weird sounds coming from the closet. Come on, Charles, don't fuck with me now. Oh. oh, it's a cold spot in here. It's really fucking cold. Okay, you heard it that time. It's like it's here, but it's not here. some kind of secret passageway down here. It's cold. It's really cold. That's fucking Oh, that's fucking spiders. What the fuck? Hey, somebody help me! You can't let me down here! There's spiders down here! Somebody help me! Please! Madison! There is definitely something in this room with me. The air has gotten colder. Charles? Charles, is that you? If you're here, Charles, if you can hear me, please give me a sign. I want to help you. I want to free you from this place. Oh. You're, you're not Charles. You're the one who threw the chair. You're so full of hate. I know Madame LaLaurie was a monster, but she's gone now. You're free to leave this place. I'm, I'm begging you, please go in peace. Go. What? Madame LaLaurie? What? Me? Her reincarnation? No, it, it, it can't be. I could never have created such atrocities. She sodomized and tortured you. She mutilated your flesh. She murdered your family. What's going on? Madison! Madison! Madison!